Yes, Nigel, it's a veritable throng of politicians still Hang spilling on, around it. here on College Green. Everyone has their piece to say, and clearly it has been an incredibly momentous day in politics. It's one of those days where all the various tents pop up here on this small patch of grass outside Parliament, where uh, politicians uh, say their piece and much speculation takes place about what will happen next, because that's where the conversation is moving to at this point in time. That's where uh, everyone is looking forward to. We're, most people are ignoring the sort of conspiracy theories that abound on social media about how Boris Johnson might stay on uh, forever. Clearly, what is happening now is an orderly transition of power. Yes, Boris Johnson staying on for several weeks until that next uh, party leader is picked. There has been some suggestion, uh, not least from the leader of the opposition and indeed some backbench conservatives, that Boris Johnson should stand down in favour of a caretaker prime minister. That uh, initial speculation does seem, uh, if anything, to be dampening down now. Now, uh, we're going to see the words of the 1922 committee executive at the start of next week, laying out that timetable for this leadership election. And since 2001, the way that Tory leadership elections have worked is the members of parliament whittle it down to just two candidates, and then those two candidates go out to the Conservative Party membership, a group of between 100,000 and around 160,000 people, we think. The last time it was counted, it was 160,000. We don't quite know the movement of how many party members have moved on or joined since then, but it's going to be within that region who decide between those final two candidates. Last time round, it took 46 days uh, since uh, the resignation of Theresa May to the appointment of Boris Johnson. Will it be a 46-day period this time? Well, who's to say? What we do understand, however, is that Sir Graham Brady, the chairman of the 1922 committee, wants the parliamentary process of this leadership election, i.e. the whittling down to those just two candidates from what stands to be now a very, very broad field of candidates, many of whom, as you've been discussing, may not be the biggest household names in the world. Well, that process of whittling down to just two candidates, the 1922 committee hopes, will be done by the time of recess. So just a couple of weeks to go, really, for that process to take place. Uh, in 2019, that process was MPs voting every Tuesday and every Thursday to whittle it down one by one, or indeed, if people wanted to drop out in between those votes more than that. Perhaps we'll see more regular votes, given the short amount of time until recess. And then, of course, the contest is taken out to the country. And that might be the more exciting media-focused element of this contest, perhaps hustings uh, taking place across the country. But certainly, it seems, by the autumn, likely by September, there'll be a new prime minister.